Hey yeah, folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to a very special Let's Play with Essentia of Crusader Kings 2. Say hi, Essentia. Hi, Essentia. Yay! It already works, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm going to tell you what to do, and she's doing it already. We're way ahead of time. I listen so well. Yeah. Except when I don't. So this, this very special video is brought to you by a combination of uh, social isolation and... <laughs> And, and an emotional day. And we're like, you know what? We need to do some stuff together today. I'm like, D -d do you want to play video games with me? He did, yeah. He did. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know Essentia, she had, well, she's my wife. Uh, she's been a moderator on Twitch channel for like a thousand million years. But that's all. And while you don't consider yourself a gamer, no. you probably have way more hours in video games than a lot of people watching this channel. No, that can't be true. I don't know. How many hours do you think you have in World of Warcraft? You know, where you were like a, a top tier raid healer type person. Okay, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so you, you play some games. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, okay, yeah. But you don't consider yourself no. generally a gamer. No. And you've never played a grand strategy game. No. But you're aware of them because I play them all the time. Yes. Excellent. And we're playing Crusader <laughs> Kings today. Evidently. Which is awesome. It's okay, Crusader Kings is basically like The Sims. Uh-huh. But... <laughs> okay, not like The Sims in any way whatsoever. Yeah, you've tried to say it's like The Sims before. <laughs> it's very people-oriented, and I think I think the, the difference. And the goal of this one, I always say, like, if you're playing to win or lose at this game, you're playing it wrong. Right, good. The point of this game is to role-play and to experience the life and embrace when things go badly. Awesome, cool, because I expect they will. Sweet. <laughs> so I did a little bit of poking around uh, beforehand to try to find someone you could play right, that yes. I thought would be really interesting. Um, and we're going to play King Louis of West Francia. No. Oh, okay. That sounds terrifying. All right. So we're, we're going to say, like, <laughs> screw you to all, like, Western Europe. It's way too busy over there. You all play that too often. You guys know things that I do not know. <laughs> and that was part of it. I wanted to go somewhere different where, realistically, no one should expect us to really know anything about right. this area. Good. We've done a little bit of research just to try to have a baseline. Uh -huh. But we're going to be dumb. But this yeah. is okay. <laughs> yes. If you have extra information about this region, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. Yeah, because... I, I won't know anything. Sorry. Take the mouse, which <laughs> yeah. I'm screwing up. Which is going to be interesting because you never use a mouse. You're just always on a trackpad on your laptop, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is a whole new experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have this experience, what, once a year when I live stream with you for a little while? That's right, yeah, because if you've seen the Essentia before on the charity live streams, perhaps, and things like that for her birthday and various things. Oh, I think we even loaded up CK2 once, but um, I got a little overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it is that kind of game that can be a little like that. I mean, I, I can't imagine why. Mm -hmm. Gestures wildly at the entire screen. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. just gestures of everything. <laughs> uh, for the record, we are playing with all the expansions enabled except for Sunset Invasion um, and no mods. Sunset Invasion is like an alt history where like um, the Aztecs colonize Europe. The Aztecs wow. suddenly show up with like, you know, rifles and things like that and Oh, we, we we are the ones getting colonized. Oh, um, dang. <laughs> it's interesting, but very random and weird and a different kind of game. Yeah. So generally speaking, people play with it turned off. Well, I, I like real-ish history. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So this is going to be real-ish history. And here we... Real adjacent. I, so I found a um, female pagan ruler mm. way out here on the edges of Siberia. And on, like, I mean, we must be above, like, the Arctic Circle here, maybe? I don't know, actually. I don't know where that line is. I'm very lost on this map. But we are in a very frozen land. So, High Sounds Chief awesome. Dis Katyako of Zavarot. Which is kind of just fun to say. It is. I mean, probably we call her Kat. Wrong. Yeah, we may have to call her Cat. She's Cat. She's cool. That's a good name. I love it. Um, so, I, I have, I've never loaded this up. I <laughs> literally have no oh, idea what to expect with this ruler. Awesome. So, hit play. We'll find out. <sighs> We're playing the nine, the year 936. Oh, right. I want to make an adjustment here. Sorry. That's okay. I'm going to set everything to the default. I'm going to make a couple of tiny little tweaks here. Um, first, I'm going to turn off Shattered Retreat. Those of you... Shattered Retreat makes combat and warfare maybe a little bit more interesting and balanced. Ah. Uh, but we don't really want to focus on that. And this makes battles just yeah, shorter and faster and just let's get done. Cool. Okay. The other thing I want to ask you about is gender <laughs> equality. Sorry, I'm laughing about absurd events. 
But <clears throat> yeah, so you can turn that on. You can turn on supernatural events on and off if you want like a- Oh, fun, okay. Yeah, if, do you actually want like the gods and spirits and things to do stuff or sure. not? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So gender equality, um, there's historical default all. So what this mm. determines is at the start of the game, is your nation like, does it have equal status for women and women can right. do all the roles as normal or things like right. that? Um, Which is not generally historically accurate. Yeah, historical is pretty much locked down. <laughs> uh, women, the status of women is basically no. Is no. Yeah, yeah. Their, their yeah. status is no. Yeah. Um, default gives you the ability to tweak your laws in various ways to potentially get the status of women to be vaguely acceptable. <laughs> We've gone from no to vaguely acceptable. <laughs> or we could just say, listen, we're just gonna say all through to whatever. I don't know. I'm a little conflicted because I did say that I was interested in, in real at history. least real adjacent Real history. adjacent history, yeah. Um, at the same time, she's the high chiefess. Yes. Which kind of makes me feel like maybe in her little part of the world, things are different already. Yeah. No, I like it. Well, so... <sighs> and I don't know how it affects the game, so... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should just try it on default and see what we can do. Okay. Maybe maybe we can go through the various laws and make this happen. Okay. So I don't, I don't think I'm gonna change any any other rules, but it is nice that you can tune There's it. a lot of them, yeah. There's tons of things they added in because they're like, they kept adding new features through expansions and like, well, maybe not everyone wants to play with like, plagues. Yeah. Something, yeah, something topical. Can't imagine why. <clears throat> I say just hit start game. Let's, okay, yep, let's, let's go just go for it. Just dive in. Mm-hmm. <sighs> So there's gonna be a lot of stuff on screen here, but it's gonna be groovy. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing I like about most of these grand strategy games is they are like fully pausable. Oh, so, good. You know, you don't have to worry about the game sort of running away on you while you're trying to figure some things out. Right. Okay. To the pop-up so... screen, you can just ignore this. Oh, I don't um, need to know this. This isn't like story about who I'm playing. Not this. No. Oh. This okay. is just telling you a few of the gameplay rules. Right, which you're, in theory, going to be telling me. Now, here yeah. it does tell you a little something about yourself. Right. So you're playing a Nanette. Nanette's is our culture. Yeah. We did a tiny bit of Googling. Yeah, very brief. Uh, of the Suomenusco religion? We're, <laughs> if you look it up on, on Wikipedia, they classified as sort of Finnish paganism. Yeah. Now, we're not actually in Finland <laughs> right now, where, where we're playing here, but the Finnish people in this game also have the same sort of religion, this sort of right. paganism, animalistic, yep. shamanistic kind of religion. Um, so there's going to be some overlap there. I mean, they're having to paint some things with broad strokes because yeah. it's hard to simulate everything. Yeah. Uh, and that, that tells you a little bit about, on the left side, what the deal, what, what's the deal with your culture? What does it mean? Right, okay. And on the right side, what's the deal with your religion? What does it mean? Right, okay. Thing is, everybody watching this probably knows all this stuff already, right? So we're going to be a tribal type. So we're settled, but agrarian. Okay. Um, each county has a tribal holding. Like we're not building, we're not building proper towns and castles right, and right. things like that, yeah. right? It's still, it's very nomadic people. Um, the uh, tribal rulers, though, our, our succession rules are likely to be elective gavel kind. That is not easy. So I always forget what gavel kind means. Gavel kind means you're splitting your land amongst all your children. Right. Kind of thing. Right. Um, and elective also means that it's not even, um, it's not like, it's not necessarily it's not your children. Yeah, it's not mandatory. Your, well, no, it means oh. you, you, yourself as well as your other sort of chiefs and chieftains and things oh, like that. Oh, I see. Okay. In your realm actually okay. vote on who the successor is going to be. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so okay. we are going to have to manage politics a little bit to make sure that the right person, i.e. <laughs> our family, <laughs> the right people. gets elected. Right. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that harder, but it's stressful. interesting. Like, the easy one is you go, like, um, like I don't know, agnatic or whatever, primogeniture. Basically, right, your oldest yes. child or yeah. whatever inherits everything. It's just automatic and That's easy and super simple. easy, because you yeah. get more and more powerful with every generation. But. Ooh, spy masters. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So, um, I think, I'm trying to remember, I feel like in most places women can be spy masters. That may or may not be accurate. Um, the other thing is there is going to be some, um, some things in religion, especially as we formalize a religion and establish certain things, we could probably have like our high priest be female and different things like that. There may be other ways to do that, which is interesting. Oh yeah. Religion allows women to own yeah. temple holdings. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it already starts a little bit, a little bit different. Okay. Temple you know? holders can inherit titles. Cool. Okay. We're not one of those cat lickers. <clears throat> those what now? The cat lickers. You know, who listen to the pape? 
Ah, uh-huh. yeah. I see. Okay. I mean, I don't know. They're they're really far away. I don't know what to actually pronounce their names. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> so uh, close. Yeah. All right. All right. And now what? Where the heck are we? <laughs> yeah, so you can zoom with the mouse wheel. Where the course. heck did we go? There you go. So we're, that, that's us over right. there. Right, okay. Um, right mm-hmm. now, the map mode is in terrain map mode, which okay. is not very useful. Oh, I to see. To be honest. Okay. You see this little shield right there above the mini map? This one? Yeah. That'll color each ah, realm. This a is different what I'm color. more used to seeing when, you know, you people that do this for real. <sighs> what do you mean, you people? Game? <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, no one plays in, in ah. the train map mode because it doesn't actually have any useful information. Uh huh, okay. So, our realm. What is that? I don't know, I, I was about to ask you. This little hut. Is it just. Oh, is that is that just because it's our territory or something? Zavara tribe. Uh, I, I think guess. it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked oh, like it was in the sea, but. There's a little mini port. There's a little How port cute. and a little hut. Huh, uh, okay. It's cute. <laughs> Do you zoom out slightly and find down a little? You see this line here? So, we have two counties in our oh. territory. So, Tobush is. Part of ours. Yes. Okay. And I believe we control them both directly right now, but I'm not sure. How do you find out? Well, if you click on your face in the top left corner, that's you. She's very cute. Mm-hmm. Or I'm very cute. Your totes adorbs. I'm adorbs. Your totes <laughs> adorbs. So this little section there, those are your titles. Oh, this bit. Yeah. So hi, chiefdom. Mm-hmm. Chiefdom. And the chiefdom of Tobish. So that means there's a high chief. Didn't above us, maybe, in Tobish? No. Oh, okay. So, um, these, so, I mean, whether or not the titles work the same way everywhere historically, I mm, don't know. Mm-hmm. But basically, what these are, these are counties, okay. and the chiefdom, these are count titles, or countess in this thing. Right, right. And the high chiefdom is a duke level title. Okay. So, you are the count of both these places, and the duke of this duchy right. in, as a whole, basically. Oh, okay. okay. So no one else, you control absolutely everything right now. You have all the titles. Okay. You're, you're the boss. So in this, in this game, this culture, this part of the world, this whatever high chiefdom mm-hmm. is the highest? Uh, there's probably king oh, okay. above that. But there isn't one there here. There isn't one yet. Okay. We are not big right. enough. To okay. be that, at, and depending on where we are and different things that might happen, at some point something might happen to call us a petty king, right? Which is what's used. Yeah. It's a duke level king, yeah, but yeah. no one's above you, so they call you that. Okay. But high chief, this is a pretty good title. I'm not going to complain. I don't mind it at all. Mm-hmm. All right, so I know who I am. Cool. Well, let's. What are our traits? These are our traits over here. Aha, I actually don't know who I am. That is what no. you're telling me. Okay. Mastermind theologian. Okay, that's really kick ass. So. Had at, expected that. No, I know, right? But mm-hmm. that's awesome. That's actually really strong. <laughs> so every character in the game has an education. Okay. Um, and there's an education. I think there's one education for each category of stats. I mean, you've played D&D, Strength, Dexterity, well, here it's okay, Diplomacy, right. Martial, okay. Stewardship, Intrigue, and Learning. Right. So okay. I think there's a title category associated with each one, and okay. each one can have up to four different levels. Okay. So this has got, well, four dots on it, the icon. It's just, if you move the mouse, he's oh, got yes, four dots. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. This fourth level. This is the highest level. Oh, trait associated okay. with learning. With learning, okay. You are okay. super smart. Cool. There is, like... Go cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have Roth. Well, then. <laughs> so, that, that's one of the deadly sins. The fifth deadly sin, Roth. Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. It boosts your martial, gives you penalty to intrigue and diplomacy, but improves your personal combat skill. So, she's really smart, and she's aggressive. Mm. <laughs> I think you're even more aggressive than that because you're also cruel. Oh, lovely. Oh, damn. Okay, we didn't we didn't think this through at all. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. Yeah, all right. An evil sadist. Yeah. We might be able to get rid of that trait as we go. I am playing an evil sadist. I don't know how to... Okay. I love this so much. I'm sure you do. Here's Zealous. Oh, good. Yeah. So I'm an aggressive, cruel, yeah. highly educated zealot. Yep. That's not dangerous. The church loves At you. At all. The church loves you. It, it confuses me that it says it cannot tolerate heretics, infidels, and heathens when she's a pagan chieftain. Yeah, but that means those other people are heathens. Uh-huh. Right? And paranoid. And paranoid. Just to make it interesting, you guys, because it wasn't before. You know, yeah, your, uh, your mental health is really interesting. She's doing well. Mm-hmm. All right, now so what am I you. looking at? Well, she has reindeer. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the uh, the religion symbol. That's oh, the I love that. That's Suomen pretty. Suomen or whatever. Okay, very cool. <clears throat> um, you're not married. 
Right. You're not yes. any kids. Your heir. So oh, if you yeah. were to die, that person would take over things. Um, there. See, it says heir in red. There. This is not of your dynasty. Oh, he's yeah. just some random guy that is there. Yeah, I think your dynasty, your family name is the Zavoy. Zavoyid. Zavoyid. Okay. Yeah, which makes sense. Dynasty. So from yes. Yeah, there you go. So this is your house, and right now, okay. the person would inherit all this land is not of your house. Okay. If you were to die today, the game would end. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. So. Well, usually one of the first things you want to do is get married and get yourself a kid of some kind. Right, okay. Yeah. So you don't do anything else really before that? I mean, I, I know that that's always what's talked about, but I yeah. kind of thought maybe it was a little bit of a joke. Well, if you already had kids or if it was going to inherit, you know, to your uncle or something like that, you could potentially consider waiting. Okay. But here, like right. literally, if, if we die, right, we game over. And it's 936, so you figure us dying is a distinct possibility? Yeah! Okay. I mean, you could get trampled by a herd of reindeer. I suppose that's true. It's in Siberia. Actually, click the family tree. Really I was just curious, yeah. Yeah, I got There's nothing. Nothing at all. Wow. Okay, she has no parents? <laughs> none, none that were known of for set, set up of this game. All right, then. When, uh, you know. Okay. So Paradox has tried to do as much research as possible for different time periods in different places. Right. And tried to set up as many historical rulers as possible. It could be that this isn't even someone that was necessarily his oh, They may right. not have okay. records. Okay. Uh, uh, or they, they knew, but they don't know anything about her history. Right. So yeah, there's we know nothing. What's the focus and ambition? I don't I, hit the I, button. I just happened to roll over them. <laughs> uh, okay. So, this is what your character wants to focus on. Can you change those at any point? You can change them, um, I think, every five or ten years or something, or if mm. they get accomplished. Right. Maybe it's every okay. year, actually, okay. you can change it. So if you pick something, you're likely to get events that will help you achieve whatever you're trying to do. Okay. Make a friend. Aww. Aww. She's cruel and paranoid, but she, you know. Yeah, she, well, she no wonder she has a hard time making friends. No one likes her. Even cruel, paranoid theologians. Need friends. Need friends and get yeah. lonely. Uh, Paragon of Virtue. Well, that sounds like a thing that she might think of herself. Mm -hmm. Oh, Queen of Nanetsia. Aha. Uh -huh. So, well, we'll talk about um, yeah other titles that could be achieved, but mm -hmm. that is very interesting. It is very interesting. Um, especially being a pagan, because uh -huh. if you are a pagan and have the um, ambition to become a king or queen, I believe it lets you do, yeah, unlimited use of the subjugation Casas Belly. So Casas Belly <laughs> caused for war. Uh -huh. It's a justification for war. You can't you yeah. go to war unless you have a reason for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got to convince your people to fight. Right, yeah. They're going to be like, but why? But why, yeah. Which is pretty impressive for then, considering people don't really think about that now so much. But <laughs> There's that. But your people will ask, but why? <clears throat> yeah. Um, and the thing is, if you do that, then you can always just, but because I want to be queen. And they're like, yeah, that sounds like a really good reason. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And the subjugation will cause people to bend the knee to you. Right, of So course. you'll go to your neighbors and be okay. like, hey, I'm your queen. And they'll be like, okay. no. And then you'll fight. And they'll be like, oh, you're, I was wrong. You are my queen. Right, right. Oh, how silly. Okay. Yeah. So basically I come in and I go, I say I'm queen. And they say, no, you're not. And I go, I have dragons. I have big... And I become Daenerys. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. There's a really <clears throat> good Game of Thrones mod for this. I, I don't watch Game of Thrones, guys. I just know weird references. Uh, see the realm prosper. I mean, that seems like a yeah, reasonable Stay at peace for goal. five years. Sort of interesting that it's right next to the Become Queen. It is, yeah. yeah. Build a war chest. Again, it's bookmarked here by some interesting things. Uh-huh. And groom an heir. Not yeah. just have an heir, but properly groom them. Yeah, this gets, <laughs> this gets achieved once your child reaches 12 years old. Oh, okay. okay. Um, the advantage of this is while you're running this, your fertility because you're actively higher? trying to have kids. Right, yeah, it yeah. gets improved by 20%. As a theologian, you actually have a 20% or 5% penalty to your fertility. Right. You're always thinking about religion and God and, right. I don't know, feeling guilty all the time. Wait, is that the Catholic thing coming out again? <clears throat> I'm, maybe that's just me <laughs> projecting my own <laughs> childhood. Maybe just a little. Yeah, it could be. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, I kind of like that if we're really right. desperate to try to, like, right, you know, right. generate a larval human. <laughs> But mm, I don't know. Larva. Yay. I mean, I was just kind of liking the queen thing, but I suppose I could start with the air. You could start with this. The, the interesting thing is the queen thing gives you unlimited use of the subjugation CB. Uh -huh. I believe that pagans get one free subjugation CB per lifetime regardless. Oh, okay. So we could if we decide. And I love how you're already thinking warfare. It's fantastic. I wasn't thinking warfare. I was thinking queendom. Queendom. Yes, you're right. 
priorities. <laughs> I mean, you are. Um, but it's not ordained by God. What, what do they say with like kings and stuff? Because they get their power from the, from the divine, right? Uh huh. It's the divine right of kings. Uh huh. Yeah, all that. Yeah, that. Anyway, you're like totally drinking that Kool Aid. <laughs> drinking that Kool Aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. So, I mean, we could start with this, get married, and then, try to secure at least a child, yeah. and then flip on aggro mode. Right. Okay. Yeah. And we have to work on the whole, you know, female thing since we... Yes. I agree. Because she's she's the leader, so I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, from starting with a female leader, that's going to be one of her things, right? It's interesting, this tooltip. There is oh, a... a sorry. No, that's okay. There is an inheritance <laughs> um, type called enatic, which I'm not used to seeing, but I think certain religions, yeah. when we when we reform a religion, we do it. And I think it's, all, it's female inheritance. As opposed mm. to agnatic, which is male only. Oh, okay, right. So, only a female child will do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in in the playthroughs of like the sort of um, the higher medieval Catholic sort of Christian settings, mm -hmm. I'm used to seeing agnatic, which is yeah. male only. Yeah. Agnatic cognatic, which is the yeah um, the eldest male, unless there's no male, in which case the eldest female. Yeah. And then cognatic, which is eldest child, child. regardless. Yeah. Okay. So, so this one you can actually choose the complete opposite. It, there yeah. might be a way to do it. Interesting. Yeah, because it says if the, her inheritance law is. Yeah. So somewhere you actually have to like. Yeah, we can check those inheritance laws. We'll also check the the, cool. the kingdom stuff and everything. Oh, it says it here too. <laughs> oh, it does. Cool. Excellent. We're talking about it, Same and it's right too. there. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I like it. Okay. And then pick a focus. Sure. Now the focus. Can you also change that? Yeah, I think you can change this every year. Oh, every year. Wow. Okay. Or, or something. You can change it fairly so, often. So clearly it's grouped. I'm going to say it's grouped by religion, like it, It's grouped by the five warfare. stats. Oh. Sort of, kind of. Okay. That makes sense. Not exactly, okay. but sort of. Okay. Yeah. You can see theology would boost your learning, also your health, and your temple vassals. So obviously vassals are people who bend the knee to you. Mm -hmm. And so the religious ones, the one who, who control a temple, right. um, would really like you. Super brainy. Oh, it's just okay, cool. So it, when while you're doing this as your focus, it increases your stat while you're focusing on this. Oh, I see. Okay. In addition to that, you will likely get um, events and other possible interactions that are only possible only come up because of the focus. Okay. Like there's one down below, carousing, the one that looks like a beer stein. <laughs> it allows you to carouse with people. <laughs> you just right click on them and like invite them to go carousing. All right then. It's like carousing is a word that yes, I it now is. know. That I now know. <laughs> Oh wow! Does not publicly practice a religion in the Muslim group very specifically. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, excuse you. Jeez. Yeah. All right. Uh, Although family. you can't, you can be Muslim. It, it it says there's other things in there, right? Yeah. If you're yeah. a decadent Muslim, then oh, you then can it's do it. fine. Or if you're a drunkard, you can do it. Oh gosh. But if you're if okay. you're proper Muslim, you're not allowed. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. just you can't do any of the things that are involved in crowding, so mm -hmm. they don't want you. Okay. I mean, family might help. Yep. You get that fertility boost. I might want the rulership thing at some point if I mm -hmm. want to be queen. Mm-hmm. I love that a lot of the things say you cannot be a prisoner for this. I love yeah. that it specifies that. Yep. Mm. yep. All Selection. right. That's another way to get fertility boost. I suppose it would be, yes. A little different than the family <laughs> focus in terms of theme and yep. events you might get. We may have to pick a theme here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think hunting makes a brilliant amount of sense for the sort of nomadic people, tribal people that we are here. It does. Although, again, maybe maybe, maybe, right maybe after you get a kid. Yeah. I don't know. All right. See, I'm used to doing this on live streams. I can't get any feedback from oh, people. Oh, you're right. There's no we chat. We going family. We going seduction. You know, which way would we want to do, do this? Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna channel what Twitch chat would say, and they would say seduction focus. Uh -huh. So you shouldn't pick seduction. So should never listen to Yeah. Twitch whatever chat. chat says, we should do the opposite. But see, I kind of almost like that idea. I kind of like it too. I'm thinking like this, you know, single, strong, young female chieftain out in the Siberian wastelands doing it on her own. Yeah. You know, she yeah. wants to be queen. She's going to have her, her line without having to deal with the whole family thing. Yeah, you can have a little harem. Yeah, there we yeah. go. I mean, uh, male people of this religion can yeah. have concubines. Yeah. I don't think the mechanic is for females. I don't think they... But it doesn't mean you can't have a side piece, actually. You can. You can actually have multiple lovers. I remember uh, playing a seductress. There is, at a certain start, there is a, a female um, duchess in Italy uh -huh. who I think takes seduction, and I was simultaneously sleeping with um, uh, the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, yeah, the emperor yeah. of Byzantium, and the pope. Yeah, I, I, yeah. 
actually have some memories of that one. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. She also <laughs> worshipped Satan, but that was a whole other story. Yeah, I remember yeah. that bit too. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah. All right. Are we going for it? Let's go for it. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. There you go. I don't know what I'm doing. You got that plus 10 sex appeal. Yeah. So stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now what? Uh, You want to look for a spouse? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, do I? I don't know. Uh, uh Oh, the uh, the rings? The, the Just see the two marriage rings right there? Arranged marriage. Right. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. Okay. There's this screen. Uh -huh. This will show you everyone who, like, 100% would be willing to marry you okay. for some reason. For some reason. Now, by default, this will be a, actually, I don't know what you call it, a male-centric marriage. Right. Where the children will be of the man's dynasty. They'll get his oh, last name. Oh, that's a problem. Whereas, see that checkbox? This is matrilineal, matrilineal marriage. Yeah, I want matrilineal. Yeah. So this I just is didn't even see it. People who are willing to marry you, but have the children take your name. Right, okay. Which is what we would need. Yeah. There's also another way to find people. Uh, down here, there's a button that lets you search, like, literally everyone who exists in the world. Oh, wow. Um, but it's not guaranteed that they'll necessarily be okay with marrying you. They oh, might be too far. They might be religion things. I mean, you can filter other things. Um, but these are the people who are, like, 100%, it'll just work. See, if I were playing just by myself, yeah. not to try to entertain people, yeah. I would totally dig through that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it might take me the rest of the day. So I maybe shouldn't do that. All right, so... So you can sort by the pairing column. There's age, oh, and there's yeah, their stats. Okay, okay. The other thing that's worth noting, there's not... Oh, there's one example here. See, anything that's got a heart shape, this oh. is some sort of generic genetic trait. The oh. purple background ones are bad. Right. Like, uh, ugly. <laughs> you, you shouldn't judge people based on appearance. Dude's effed up. He's your marshal, though, actually. We shouldn't talk shit about him. Um. <clears throat> Yeah. He, he did not hear that. No. Okay. But there might be green hearts, which are positive genetic traits. Right, okay. Um, you can also search for those things, although I don't suspect this list is going to be very long. You can also see the religion. Right, so we probably want somebody pagan, since we are. Yeah, I mean, I think these are all going to be pagans, but specifically, you oh. know, that was be our religion. Oh, our type of pagan. Yeah, I so see. these are Slavics, okay. as opposed to the Swomi, etc., etc. Yeah, okay. So none of them have any positive, genetic positive traits. traits at all? Not in this list. Well, that's fail. Yeah. We don't like that. Yeah. Then what do you do about that? Do you just close it and check again later? You could. <laughs> or you might decide to marry anyway. Now, the there's all kinds of different reasons to marry uh -huh. in Crusader Kings. I'm here. sure there are. One is for positive genetic traits. Yes. Two could be someone who's got a lot of skill in an area that could help you out. Right. Uh, three could be to solidify an alliance with someone. Right. But I haven't played, so I don't know what that even looks like yeah. right now. And notice that I didn't include love in that list. No, you know, no, no. That's not You know how royal marriages go. I do. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that one is 13. So he's not of an age. You, what you do is you would betroth. Yeah, he's a willful 13-year-old. That sounds like a bad yeah, idea. Yeah, he's also a glutton and lustful. Oh, greedy. Yeah, greedy. let's maybe not with him. Yeah, no. Yeah. All right. Uh, gray eminence. What does that mean? Um, This is someone, yeah, with oh, high diplomacy. diplomacy. Okay. Yeah. That might not be. And good. they have a fertility boost. Do they? Uh, on the uh, the gray eminence, it has a built-in plus 10% oh, fertility boost. Oh, I didn't read all the way down. Which can right. be handy for us. Wow, that's annoying. Charitable is nice. It is nice. Paranoid just like it's, us. There oh, you good. go. Good, great. That, that will oh, be a great combo. Paranoid and stubborn. That's mm, great. That won't be a problem. I love it. Now, he's only 16. Yeah, but you're 18. Yeah. Like, you're both young. Yeah. Probably live until at least your 30s. I know, I was starting to wonder, like, if, if we don't really like any of these guys, though, should I just order, uh, um, marry somebody who's older for now? <laughs> you could <laughs> have them just die off. I'm terrible. <clears throat> I, I mean, know how these games work. I, I, I don't know if male fertility changes with age in this game. It may. There's no hard cutoff. For women, I think I think at 45, there's a hard cutoff right. on, on baby making. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, not necessarily accurate or whatever, but... Mm. Yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, I, I would have done it as like a, a some sort of like a curve with a fall off kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Becomes yeah. statistically less likely. Oh, patient. This one intrigues me. Yeah. I mean, misguided warrior. So he's a bit of a derp. Seems possibly problematic, but everything else is Trusting, nice. Trusting. I mean, really. You. So you're paranoid. Yeah. And cynical. And you're going to marry mar mar someone who's trusting. It's easier to control them. A well, lustful, too. Well, so, and he, yeah, he would help us have babies. This is the guy. Salander. He's patient. He's your steward, which is interesting. Which is funny because we're wrathful and he's patient. Anyway. Opposites attract. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Salander. Him more than the other guy that we looked at? Oh, totally. I'm locked in on Salander. <laughs> who is this? Oh, right. 
All right, how do you... Just click his face, I think. Or right-click to select. Oh. Yeah, because if you click, it shows you his page, but if oh. you right-click, you'll select him as a spouse, potentially. Suppose... Yeah, this is nerd. Uh, you marry that guy. Now, what you're doing is you're not asking him if he wants right. to marry you. Right. You're asking his liege, his boss. Who is you. Who is you. So you're asking yourself permission to marry this guy. I have a feeling you might say yes. It seems problematic. <laughs> now, he is a lowborn, so we're going to lose prestige by marrying this guy. But he seems nice, so I don't but care. He seems, let's do it. Done. Hey. This is so weird. Yeah, getting right. married. Everyone's concerned, or... No respect to people's wealth, which huh. I think gives us prestige if you mouse over it. Yeah. So you can either ask for gifts, so you get some gold, or you can be like, no, we're better than that, and get some prestige. Again, I haven't been playing, so I don't even know, like, what's our prestige at, what's our gold at, what do we need more so of? So, top left corner, or right mm. corner over here, we okay. have, currently have 60 gold ducats in our bank. Is that a lot? It is not a tremendous amount, but here's, the interesting thing is, as a tribe, we actually don't need as much money. Right. Usually you need a lot of money to build castles, mm -hmm. churches, and things like that. You, I believe as a tribe, I think actually spend prestige and faith more, more. than anything to build buildings. It's been a while since oh, I've played. Okay. Um, so that might be... That I like that. Be okay. I yeah. like that better anyway. I mean, you know, they're tribal, they're communal, whatever. They're going to have a big party. Different priorities. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it. All right, you're now married. Congratulations. It's only taken 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, 30 minutes, but yes. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> that's, they're, that's okay. they're used to watching me play. <laughs> this is super normal. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, then. So uh, we're married. Yep. Now what? Now, um, we could, honestly, we could unpause at this point. Oh, it's paused. <laughs> it is paused. It's been paused okay, this whole time. that makes sense. Um, we could, these dots up here, these are alerts. These are things the game is trying to notify you about. Important decisions. Okay. And one of the things with basically all the Paradox Ooh. games uh -huh. is more or less, if you don't know what you're doing, you can sort of just unpause and just deal with the pop-ups from at the top. Mm, okay. Especially in Crusader yeah. Kings, if you're not, if you're not necessarily, like, hardcore trying to min-max a goal, like, oh, I want to conquer all of right. Europe in 100 years. Right. If you just want to play the game, it's actually fine. Okay. Well, it's I'm going to look over them before I unpause. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> okay, so, important decisions. If you click on this... Uh-huh. Go ahead. Right-click? Uh, no. Oh, no, that's dismiss. Yeah, normal click. There you go. I'm only reading parts of sentences. That's good. So, this is it's, this is the decision page here. This oh, is, these are places oh. where you can take decisions. So, this was just, like, kind of a... a an example or yeah. like a, yeah these green dot ones are ones that are flagged as important decisions okay and when they're available we want to be notified oh is the default. i see okay so these okay. some of these are grayed out but two of them are available worshiping the ancestors and composing a book i think worshiping the ancestors oh. is like a cool down are these great they're grayed out because we need potentially more stuff oh okay oh. okay sorry we need to pick a patron deity yeah it, we need 25 piety we only have 15. oh i see okay okay sorry so probably so. we'll get a pop-up about it pretty soon actually so we want to worship the ancestors we want to Write a book, which I think is amazing. Uh huh. You I want to hold the tribal festival. That can. sounds awesome. You can. It's not marked as an important decision. Can I mark it as one? You can, but you can also just run it whenever you want. But yeah, you can. Go ahead. I was like, yes, but can I mark it as an important yeah, decision? Yeah, um, <laughs> I often do that actually. There's um, at least when I'm playing the Christian kingdoms, there's a couple right. of different things. There's a summer feast, and also there's like a. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called, but you can have like a big dinner party for all your vassals. Right. Okay. Um, and some of those, especially when I get more money, because they're expensive to run. But when if I'm getting a bigger kingdom and good income, yeah. I like to run those every year, so I tend to mark them as important. Right. Okay. Oh, summer festival. See, Uko. that sounds important too. Yeah, it sounds pretty important. <laughs> He's one of the the main, the, the main gods of mm -hmm. this religion, so it mm -hmm. just seems you know honor him. All right, so what are we starting with? You said something about... I don't know. Whatever you want. You want to worship the ancestors? Sure. Okay. Make Oh, make a sacrifice. Wow. Yeah. All right, then. Lovely. What's interesting, <gasps> um, assuming this is the same mechanic as the, one, the pagan ones I've done before, mm -hmm. is if you capture prisoners and, you know, for some reason... Oh, that's creepy. You do have the option of sacrificing prisoners. Oh, that, this, this game is going to... Yeah, but you don't have to. You destroy can just, me. Yeah, no. You want to hit the button? Let's yeah. find out. I have no idea what it's going to do. I don't know how to hit it. Oh, there. Yeah. But you're religious. I mean, it makes sense that you're going to, you know, yep. worship the ancestors and do it right. Yep. Okay, so, guide my sword in battle and let me conquer my... And Oh, we're asking Oh, what are you this, asking? Your foremothers. Ancestors. Oh, I love yeah. this. Yeah. Okay, so, guide me in battle, prosperity and growth for the realm, or share your wisdom. I wonder oh. what the heck that means. Oh, I like how it's got, like, no details. And it's going to be different every time. No there's details gonna, at all. There's tons of random things that could come up. Some good, some mm. bad. 
they'll, they'll be themed more in an area. Right. But, I mean, it's the gods. They're, they're I don't know, capricious? <laughs> Random? Random. The gods are Twitch chat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, prosperity and growth through the realm seems generally good, but I'm kind of just intrigued by what the generic wisdom is. I, I, I like wisdom. I mean, she's just starting out on her whole thing. She's just getting married. Yeah. I mean, let's, yeah. She's 18 years old, for crying out loud. I know. She's just a kid. Well, I guess probably not in this setting. But, uh, <laughs> all right. So <laughs> there was that. <laughs> she's been of age for at least a couple of years now. Yeah. It's like, why doesn't she have a kid yet? Come on. Pop out them babies. Oh... I don't really have enough gold to really be doing that right now. Yeah, anyway, and I probably. think it's not lit right now because I think uh, if you mount oh, with yeah. a question mark, it'll right. show you the things. I think it has to be in the summer. Oh. Or not busy with feasting, hunting, travel, other special activities. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe well, they're still celebrating. You're worshiping the ancestors. Right. That's okay. probably what, what okay. did it. Okay. All right. So should I be doing other? Should I write the book right now? Oh, lose fifty gold for that it's too. It's really expensive. Okay, so maybe these just wait for now. I think that's okay to wait. Okay. So I close that. Sure. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. So the, the first one is still... Yeah, I know. There's like a lot of room on the screen. It just went away. And yeah. It, it surprised me. Okay. So the first thing <clears> is still important decisions, which we know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, we know we don't have an heir. Okay. But... So, nothing really to do about it other than hope we have a baby. Right. Title loss and succession. So when we die, all these titles oh. are going to go to someone outside right, of our dynasty. because we don't have the heir. Again, we know that. Yep. Okay. Sure. Fine enough. Ah. So if I didn't have an heir, or when I do have an heir, I can nominate my successor. That's right. Okay. Right now, no one you could nominate. There's yeah, no one of your dynasty yeah. to nominate, so okay. who cares? Yeah. Dejour, Dougal, Dougal, Duckle. The duck. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I think that. it's Dougal, but I really like saying Duckle. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm All sure. Right. I'm sure it's Dougal. <laughs> well, I'm not that sure, but I'm pretty sure it's Dougal. Sure-ish. But okay. Duckle. All right then. So the Ducky claims. Uh, <laughs> ducky from Latin Before Time? <laughs> totally. Oh. Everything should be Ducky from oh. Latin Before Time. <laughs> so because we have we have this high chieftain title, this uh -huh. duke title, uh -huh. there are certain territories which we consider to be properly belonging to that uh -huh, title. Of course, yes. Um, we can find out. If you click on, well, pretty much anything, for crying out loud. <laughs> click on pretty um, much anything. Like, I'm just randomly <laughs> clicking on all the buttons on the screen. I'm basically looking for a realm shield. Really. Like, click, click on a province. Anywhere. Um, so this shield here, which I think is also the shield oh, on our portrait. that's our shield. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you click on that. There's, like, a bunch of different ways. It's one of these pop-ups as well. There's a million ways to get to this screen. All right. So this is showing us our land, and we can look at different titles, right? So this is the the title of High Chiefdom, mm -hmm. which currently belongs to us mm -hmm. with this heir. Yeah. Um, this is what's below it. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Those are, and it makes sense. Those are two yeah. provinces that are bending the knee to the ducal title. Yeah. I mean, we control them, but theoretically, we could give one of these provinces to someone. Right. Yes. Right? Of course. Yeah. And and they we, they would still bend the knee to us. Yeah. Now that's what it is. If you click the little checkbox that says de jour or de jure. Oh, is so, that how you're supposed to say that? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, well, we're going to get into a whole discussion about how to pronounce the word desmensnes. <laughs> yeah. Or domain. I don't later. even want to deal with that one. But you can see mm, how now indiga. there's like a little outline over here. Yeah. Indiga is considered sort of rightfully and lawfully part uh -huh. of our duchy. Okay. In fact, so is that island I was out there. I say, so is, yeah. Mm. Isn't that the island you said you wanted to play yeah, it on? It might be kind of neat because it's alone. <laughs> and weirdly, Tobish is not de jour part of our duchy title. Yeah, that's interesting. Um... Which means there's another duchy over there that maybe we could get at some point and then make right. it that way. If at some point, I think if we control two duchies and within sort of a kingdom, we can go and uh, proclaim ourselves king or queen. Right. Okay. Which actually, that's what that icon right there is. A little bear. bear. So that's the kingdom that this duchy belongs to. And if you click on that, this kingdom doesn't exist right now. Right. A okay. bunch of these duchies don't exist. They're in red. Oh. Okay. But if you zoom out and you see the glowing thing, that's that's the kingdom. Or queendom right, yeah, yeah. that we would like that we could form. Wow, we could own all of that, huh? Yeah, and there's there's Wild. tons of other ways to get titles for these these different things and whatever. Yeah, but that is sort of like a historically recognized chunk of land. Yeah, yeah. That someone could proclaim themselves king or queen over. It's like the whole fight between England and Scotland. Yeah, a lot of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what do I do with that information in this moment? Nothing, I would say, really. Oh. Yeah. All right, then. But it was, it was the press claims, right? It's like, well, why can we press these claims? What does it mean? Right, It's because right. these two territories we sort of consider kind of sort of rightfully ours. Okay. We'd really like it if they could bend the knee to us. But at this moment, you're not suggesting that we go ahead and try to force that issue quite yet. Maybe not. Okay. Well, we'd have to figure out exactly how we stand next that to people. That seems fair. Yeah. Special title actions. 
So you can set your crown focus somewhere oh. in your territory, and that will increase the sort of prosperity of that realm and do various things like that. And it's a good idea to do it. Okay. All right, so should I go ahead and do that where we are right now? Probably. Um, if you click, so every time you click, I think it'll change. Click that again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Change it. So I think Zavarot is where we currently live. I think that's why that symbol is right there. Well, yeah, it seems yeah. like it. So that's yeah. where we live is in the Zavarot province. Okay. So I, I, I don't know. Do we? I, honestly, I don't know everything that Crown Focus does. I was just put in my capital because, like, screw it. That seems fair. That's my focus. Sure, why not? It's can not you a, change that later too. Oh yeah, you okay. can change it all. <laughs> then it, it doesn't matter. I think it, it, by default it changes every every succession, but I think there might be other ways. Okay. To do it. Special minor titles grantable. Oh, yeah. so I can give titles to people. Yes, you can. But we don't know anybody yet. No, I mean we've got <laughs> some people. Do we want to find out who's who's in our realm? That might be a good place yeah. to start. Yeah. If you click on your face. Um, you see court? Yes, I do. So you can see vassals. Vassals is people who bend the knee to us. Zero. Nobody. No <laughs> Nobody likes us yet. Okay. But we got six people currently in our court. Including our husband. Including our husband, who's also our steward. Right, yes. We've got a chancellor, a marshal, and so on and so forth. Okay. So those people, we can give them extra titles. Um, you can see right now they actually don't like us. These are negative opinions. <laughs> if you mouse over one, you'll see why they have that opinion. I'm happy that we chose one that likes us... Less... Less bad. Less bad, yeah. That's not sentence, but it's, it's okay. Yeah. All it's right. not great, but it's less bad. <laughs> if you mouse over the number, you'll see all the things. So he's kind, we're cruel, oh, he's patient, we're wrathful. The whole opposite subtract thing. Yeah, like, we have that negative we prestige. On. No one's impressed by that. Right. Yeah. Well, we can make him like us more by giving him a title, maybe? Absolutely. And then that might help with the whole having a baby thing? Absolutely. Alright, so how do we give him a title? So, um, again, you can <laughs> click there, um, and these buttons are all the menus. Like, these are just shortcuts to various screens that you can access through that. Oh, okay. So this first one is everything involving your realm okay. and council. So if you click on the up. positions tab, for example, you can see these these are the five council positions that always exist. Right. So we married our steward. Right. And then minor titles are just little bonusy things. Right. Just to show, you know, I like you a lot. It's goodwill. Yeah. Or, or it or fosters goodwill. Yeah. So it's encouraging you to take a regent. If for some reason, mm. if, if you were to get ill, yeah. And couldn't run your realm. Yeah. Who would you pick to run it for you in your convalescence? Dang. If you don't assign someone, something gets chosen for you randomly. Right, like, which might be worse. Randomly, or I don't know how it does it. I mean, should we choose our husband? Yeah, sure! No, we want him to like us. It'll give a plus 10 opinion boost, it says in the little pop-up. Oh, okay. All so, right. yeah, if we so choose him. Just click? Just click. Thank you. Okay. So presumably he should be at a plus five now. Oh, I feel like we should have a physician. Or yeah. I would call it like a shaman or something. I love it. this is supposed to be... Oh, but it's no valid candidate. Yeah, because I think they have to have at least 10 learning or something like that. 15 learning. Darn. Or some okay. other things. But there's going to be ways we can invite yeah. some smarty pants. Smarty pants. Court. Okay. And these other titles are just other titles you can give to oh, people to make them feel champion. special. Champion. Oh, goodness. Okay. Court tutor. Oh, well, we could use a court tutor, apparently, because people need some learning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm confused, though. What? How can you have a court tutor if you don't have anybody that's smart enough to do anything? Well, they're not smart enough to be a physician. But you could take someone who is as dumb as a sack of rocks and proclaim them the court tutor. That seems like a bad idea, It though. seems like a terrible <laughs> idea. So this is for people who don't have an assigned guardian. Uh, for our children, we'll likely, want, we'll likely just keep guardianship over them and educate them ourselves. Mm, okay. But it doesn't mean we couldn't still... Okay. The thing is, if you've got someone in your court who's like got really good traits with certain mm. forms, it's sort of min-maxy things you can do with it. Right. There's also um, people who are educated by someone tend to take on their culture and religion and different things like that. See, so that could be good. But I don't think you have to worry about that at all. Oh, right now. okay, okay. So, I don't know, should we also call our husband the champion? I love it. I love it. Let's do it. Hey, she's at a five. Just be nice to the so man. I, think, I mean, I he think that was another plus ten, so yeah. There you go. We're, we're lavishing praise upon our husband. <laughs> and be like, now get in bed. We need babies. Yeah, we need, chop, we need a chop. child. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, should I be giving more of these away? Do we not care? I mean, do we want the other people in our in our court it to like us? Probably would be helpful if they liked us. <laughs> it, it it's probably a good idea. I don't know anything about the other people though. Oh, oh these are your commanders. They're not they're not counts. Oh, they're still important. They run yeah, the military. Yeah. Okay. All right. How do you get back to the other screen where it shows the people? Ah. Okay. All right. So who are you? Eh. You're just a person. Yeah, you can always click on his face to access his character sheet, and you can always mouse over his opinion number to find out oh, why doesn't right, he like right. you that okay. much. 
So one of the problems we're having right now is the short reign. We're brand new. We just got this. Yeah. yeah. So okay. that's always going to be the problem when you start a new ruler, like right. either at the start of the game. Yeah. But some of the rulers at the start of the game have been there for 40 years. Right. But also whenever you, you have a succession, yeah. your new ruler, yeah. it's always the most dangerous time in this game. Yeah. You have to prove yourself. You have to prove yourself. Yeah. Okay. Also, and yeah, they, that. And yeah. they don't like it. They don't like having a liege that's cruel. Well, I can't right? blame them for that. Who wants a cruel boss? I cannot blame him yeah. for that. Oh, I like how our religious uh, role is called Diviner. That's nice. Our religious... it's normally like the Champlain or whatever. Our... Oh, yeah. like this is our religious guy. Yeah, our religious oh, guy is called okay. the Diviner Advisor here. Matters of the Faith. Okay. That's very lovely. That is cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, she's like a pagan ruler, so we should have him like us. Sure, that seems reasonable. Plus, he's got really high skill. He's likely to get oh. me in position for a good long time. Hunt apostates. Wow. Okay. Right. So this is the jobs we can give them. Right. Oh. Oh. I can tell them to do things. Yeah. Okay. So I think the thing on the left that's selected by default, they just sort of generically do. The others, you actually plop them in a province to do stuff. Oh. Okay. So I don't know if I want to do that yet. Well, let's give him. I don't know. Let's make him like us more. First. Sure. So his name is Yavlad. Uh, is he? Is that the same guy? I think so. I mean, the face looks the same. Oh yeah, yeah. you're diviner. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he's our diviner and a commander. Right, okay. Yeah, I think all of these people are... Oh, yeah, I think that you're right. Yeah. Yeah, well, we only have so many people in our court, so... Yeah, yeah. Hopefully that can embiggen over time. Well, I mean, if he's the religious guy, should I give him court tutor? Sure. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what he's I'm got, He's got that 14 <laughs> learning skill. It seems, it seems totes approach. Totes approach, okay. What would be interesting, if he could get one more point of learning somehow, mm -hmm. he could become our court physician. That would be handy. Yeah. So maybe he'll develop that over can time. Can we change that later? We can change these, I Oh, assume? yeah. Yeah. There okay. you go. So, I mean, he still doesn't like us. Yeah, but he'll, he'll get better over time. Right. S should I just be giving random titles to these other people? I like to give away all my minor titles. Okay. Yeah. I like to do sort of one each kind of thing or something like that. Uh, yeah, so cupbearer is someone who's supposed to taste your drinks. Oh, that's terrible. Sure that poisoned. doesn't seem like a good title to give people. Well, it's that's it's not going to make them like it's, you. It's a great honor. It's like you have the honor of, of tasting. This. Also, I don't I don't know this for sure, <laughs> but I've always suspected that your cupbearer, if they decide to assassinate you, maybe they'd have a higher chance of doing it. Yeah, that I don't seems know like if that's a bad actually a idea. thing. But maybe we'll leave cupbearer thing. Yeah. But yeah. Give some master the blade, just a fancy title. Uh, who would be good for that? I don't know. Maybe our marshal. I mean, he's literally our guy in charge of all of our armies. Right. These are military that would make dude. sense. He has no combat skill. No. I mean, he does have an 11 marshal skill, which is the best in our entire realm. <clears throat> but, yeah. None of them have a lot of real experience in combat. He has combat skill. He does. He's our spy master. And you know what? You want to keep your spy master happy. Let's give him a title. So give him Master of the Blade, maybe? Sure. Okay. And then, I don't know, give Master of the Bow to the Marshal. Sure. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Done. All right, that's good. Is that everybody? Yeah, I don't think our... Oh, um, I don't know if I gave this guy anything. I, I don't know, but he doesn't like... He doesn't hate us that much. <laughs> he doesn't hate us that yeah. much. <laughs> and hopefully there'll be other events and interactions we can do. All right, cool. Yeah. You can and seduce him. No. Oh, God. Then he'd really like you. Mm, lovely. Hey, okay. you went seductress. I know, but I want better options. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, maybe we can start, we'll invite some people there. Okay. So I think that's all the pop-ups at this point. All right. I mean, if you want real quick, you could go through the menu options, but honestly, you could just unpause. Like these these bits? Yeah. Just see so what that's my council, that's where I'm yeah. on. It's the laws of your realm. It's inheritance laws, realm laws, all kinds of things. And how do you change those things? Um, well, so they're great. If you go over the question mark, it'll tell you like how you can change things. There you go. Reign for at least 10 years. Oh, so I just need to reign longer. Yeah, and right, de in okay. depending on your council laws, like your realm laws and your involving your council, sometimes they get a vote on it, sometimes they don't. Right, okay. Okay, so that's not something I can do right now anyway. Yeah, and okay. then yeah, there's sub-tabs for different things. Obligations? Wow, okay. Oh, taxes and things. Right. Yeah. Okay. No council laws yet. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're not, we're not organized enough. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> it's not, the tech stuff isn't very involved in this game. Oh, okay. I know nothing about that. So this is how you raise your troops. In this era, there was no organized standing army. Mm -hmm. There were peasants and farmers and things like this. And if a war happened, right. they get told, all right, grab some sticks. Yeah. We're going to war. Okay. Um, and so that's it. So this is the, um, you could raise these troops. Currently, we could raise 517 people. Okay, well, we don't need to do that yet. <clears throat> Wait. So, so the intrigue screen has decisions. It has the decisions. And okay. also plots. 
So you could click to choose a plot <laughs> oh, to start doing things. Oh, boy. Okay. Generally, they'll be... Um, so, oh, right there. Click to choose a plot. Yeah. Oh, plot power. Okay. So... Oh, gosh. Okay. That the, seems aggressive. There's usually a few to, like, kill randos. Um, but there'll, there'll sometimes be right other now. things that will come up in there. Maybe and your not. plot power will be your own intrigue skill, plus your spy master, plus other people you invite to the plot. Right, okay. Hey, that guy? We all hate that guy, right? Let's go and kill that guy. Okay, all right. So there are no factions? No factions currently, which is good. Factions tend to be people who want to screw up your life. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. That's the state of our religion. Who are these people? So these oh, are people who I think are uh, in control of various holy sites for our religion. And they seem to like us. Yeah, it's convenient. Huh. So, okay, um... Well, he doesn't. <laughs> and I think the flag... I think this is someone actually of a different religion. So our religion has ah, holy sites scattered around. Right. If we control all of the holy sites, all or most, or something like that, I don't mm -hmm. know... Um, we can start accumulating more moral authority for our church and mm, eventually okay. reform our church. Because right now it's just sort of pagan, kind of, everyone's going with their own flow kind of beliefs, okay. right? Okay. It's, it's tradition, it's, you know, word of mouth, it's whatever. Right. Re reforming the religion makes it a lot more sort of formal and organized. Right. Maybe okay. we even write a bibble. I don't know. A <laughs> bibble, okay. Um, but that's also, it. and one of the great things that happened in one of the expansions is as a pagan who reforms the religion, you get to, like, build your own religion. You choose yeah, that's what your religion is all about. Okay, that's cool. All right, uh, so yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's anything that we're really doing right there. Yeah. So uh, finally time to actually play the game. I wouldn't pause mm, yeah. Yeah. That's here? So uh, no, it's, it's actually up here. If you click on this whole date bar, the little pause oh, icon, it'll pause. unpause. You can change the speeds there. You can also use the space bar to pause and unpause, and you can use the plus and minus buttons to speed it up. I don't know how fast it's going. <laughs> well, we got an event right away. Should it be faster or slower? I would probably put it up to speed three, which is right in the middle. Oh. Right now we're at speed one. Okay, well, I might start at one or two for, like, a little bit. And that's totally fine. <laughs> one, I think you will find very slow. Two Probably, might be fine, yeah. Now. Okay, you asked your ancestors for guidance. Yes, we did. Oh, I have to give them an offering. You can just offer your own flesh and blood. Wow. Apparently. You could cut your eye out. <gasps> you would become the one-eyed. Crap. That's serious business. It really is. Like, how much I do you want to impress your forebearers? I want foresight, so I'm getting rid of my current sight. Yeah, you, you're going to have one sight. <laughs> one sight for your foresight. Oh god, that's terrible. <laughs> so maybe not that one so maybe much. Maybe not. Yeah. Like the first thing I do. Yeah. Um, a feast so, or had an idol carved. Oh. So it looks like you gain different amounts of piety, right. and, but costs gold for different amounts. That is a lot, a lot more gold, but it feels like the right way to go. So I'm very conflicted. How do you make money in this game so that I can get more money back to do the things that cost money? Um, like sort of <laughs> taxationy kind of things. Uh, your two provinces are generating a little bit of money. Um, okay. Uh, I think this Not is an annual income. I should, oh, I should okay. point with the mouse. I think this might be annual. And if you mouse over your actual wealth, you can see your monthly balance. So we're gaining one zero point. We're gaining seventeen cents a month. So that's not going to go up real fast. Not real fast. Pagan tribal pagans are not very wealthy at the start. So of if yet. I go and spend twenty five gold right out of the gate, that might be bad. True, unless the gods are really impressed by the meal. Oh, really? I don't Could know. something good come of it? Oh, I see. And that's the idea, right? Right, okay. I, I don't know. But I ask them for wisdom, not money. That's true. <laughs> I don't know, you go with the idol. Just keep it, you know, keep it on the... I have a feeling they're just not, they're not gonna... It doesn't feel like enough. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what the gods want. I need Twitch chat. They're, they're capricious and random. Also, the gods are. Yeah, right. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Let's do it! Yes! <laughs> Done! <laughs> All right, so you can see the dates go by, like, oh, yeah, one okay. day at a time. Oh, it's a day at a time. Okay, well. Yeah, great TV show. Together with the shaman and her disciples, you placed a great bounty of food and drink I'm on sorry, the offering stone. I'm sorry, that's pronounced stone. disciples. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> you spent the entire night feasting and singing the great chants in your ancestors' yes. honor. Now all you do, now all you can do is wait and hope. Yep. Yes. Okay. Oh, man, I'm hungry now. Yeah, I know, right? I'm some, like, roast boar like or something. The second I don't know. you think about a feast, you're like, give me the food. Where's the food? Okay, now what? Bring the speed up one wait. notch. We're just waiting, though, yeah. but we're not doing anything. Well, I mean, there's there's some of that. What one thing you could do is you could deploy your council. What does that do? So you could so when you go to your council, they've got their jobs that they're doing. Uh huh. You can like flick them into a province to do a more specific thing, maybe. Flick them into a province. Also, what is this pact thing that just came out? Ah. So these oh. are yeah. Marriage pact. Yeah, it and it can be non-aggression pacts and things like right. that. So if um people from various households. Like, if you marry a noble from another house in another country, mm -hmm. you'll have a non-aggression pact right. that yeah. you might be able to upgrade to a full alliance. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't see the one before. I thought maybe it was something new, but I didn't realize it was just the marriage pact. Okay, so I could go to my 
Council. Yep, right there. <laughs> and flick them off two places? Is yeah. that what you said? <laughs> flick them to places. <laughs> how, how, how does one do that? So, okay, let's take a look at your marshal right now. Uh huh. Click right. on him? No. Oh. Let's, so, Mouser, right now he's organizing the army. Oh. What he's doing is he's giving you a discount to maintenance costs for retinues and hordes, neither one of which we have. Okay. And then um, every, well, every day it's actually a chance of this happening. Of commander improving, commander found, or brawl between commanders, oh, okay. and it's giving you. Oh. Whoa, Tolik, your chancellor, you think he oh. might fancy you? What? Just because he suddenly doesn't despise you? I don't know. Someone plus you, thinks you, highly of herself. Plus, you got a lot of sex appeal. Yeah, but he's got the highest liking number of the yeah. entire council. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. So you're gonna make a move or not? Mm. What's this? What is this guy? Yeah. Is chancellor. You could click on him to see if he's got any, you know. Okay. Okay, he's not ugly. That's good. Naive appeaser. He's single, so at least he's not cheating. I guess there's that. Mm -hmm. He's an architect. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I forgot. Uh. You can also on a character. You can only do it to one character at a time. Okay. But if the plus, the green thing here, mm -hmm. that's uh, to try to improve relationship with him. Oh, and okay. And the red okay. one is to try to make him hate you. That seems like a bad choice right now. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, well, he's scholarly, so we could talk about things. That's true. And he, he, he might chill her out. That's always good. Yeah. He's also cruel. That's why he likes her. Yeah, maybe you can bond over your cruelty. Well, that's sick and twisted. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to handle this one. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> why did I go seductive? I, I don't, the thing is, this can come up even if you don't have seductive on. This happens all the time. Quill, what do? A do? <laughs> I don't know. How badly do you want to increase the odds of having a kid as early as oh, possible? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. But they might be a bastard. That's true. It might be. I don't know. Let's say it's a I don't know if I, I, don't know if I want a cruel child, yeah. though, right? And well, this might... The, those traits don't necessarily get inherited. But it just feels... It feels like it. You said it was about, you know, role-playing. Yeah. We've only we've been married to our <laughs> husband for, like, only a month. Let's not cheat on him yet. Right. Okay. Not not yet. Not yet. That would we just actually gain piety by saying that they're turning that down as well. well. That makes sense. Which is kind of nice. Okay, so we were gonna send the marshal somewhere or do something. Potentially, yeah. He's just mouse over the other buttons. Doing and see random what it stuff does. right now. So okay. Press revolts. All right. Possibly. Be we have rebellion groups. Okay. Increase our size. These seem like things I don't want to do. Yeah. So you can just leave it in the first one. Um, the ones that kind of are fun. Your spy master here. So by default, he's trying to like uncover plots. Right. But if not, that seems fair. Plotting. The final one there, the last one with the gear, is kind of nifty. You can send them somewhere oh. to try to study their technology. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. So if click on that, and then anywhere green, oh. these are places with more technology than you. So, like, a good chunk of, like, yeah. the middle of Europe. Yeah. Where the rest of the world is probably higher technology, too, but they might be too far away. Right. Okay. Um, hmm. So... I just pick one? Just pick one. Just a random... I like the name Corellia. There you go. I've always liked that word. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, there's there's lots of, like, min-maxi things that might influence where uh -huh. you send them. Probably well, should Something have. really funny is you could wait and, like, if you don't like your spy master, but, you know, like, you can't assassinate him because your spy master is too hard. Uh-huh. So you send him somewhere with the plague. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> this Welcome game is to Crusader so Kings. sick and twisted. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I could do different things mm -hmm. with these. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. hmm. What's nice is your your diviner is going to build a piety for you with a lot of these actions. Just yeah. anyway, builds you. So that's interesting because the zealots. So there's a chance that he will spawn basically an army of zealots. Oh, that could be a problem. Who will want you to declare a religious war against someone? Okay, that could be problematic. I'm I'm not aggressive enough for this game, especially for this aggressive, cruel leader that I'm randomly playing. Yeah. Maybe we'll be able to change her traits at some point. Yeah, let's work on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure everybody's getting a kick out of the fact that I'm trying to play a cruel leader, but I don't know how. <laughs> ah. Okay. This. It almost seems like that's something that she want him to do. Yeah, I mean, in a you way, could come it? But think, I think, I think both the provinces in your realm are already of your religion. Oh, so I don't know if so there's anything pointless. to convert. Okay, so there's not really anything. I don't know what else to do here then. Mm, yeah. Um. So that could be good, maybe. Yeah, randomly improves relationships with various people that can help. Um, this you're improving relationship with someone specific. You throw them in a province, oh, okay. and you try yeah. to suck up to the leader there. Could be oh. someone within your own realm, or it could be someone outside. I the could realm. start doing this whole thing to try to get this. That might be a possibility. This thing to like me. You can fabricate this, this claims. Group. 
And so descent, which oh, is the gosh. opposite. You, okay. you throw them somewhere yeah. and cause rabble, 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 rabble. Right, okay. Yeah. So maybe that? I'm liking that. Sure. Who do you want to make friends with? I don't know. I haven't thought that far. Uh, that random island up there. I like it! Because it would be a pain to invade, right? Let's see if they can just, like, willingly bend the knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're nice. Come to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now what? I don't know what else to do now. I feel uh, like I'm kind of done here. Um, For your steward, I quite oh. like... One of them, I think, is collecting taxes. Although it might be different with things. Oh, subtle. Oh, it's different. Oh, mm. now building legends interesting. Because you oh. like prestige and there's a chance of raising warriors. Those are troops to an, a free army. They want to go to war. They don't really care who, though. You could use it to, like, cause your neighbor to maybe bend the knee. All these things are like, you'll have, an, you'll have troops. And then if you don't go to war, they will get angry with you. Yeah. It, it makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, there's there's an inherent risk, but it can be interesting. You just leave them on the basic, it's fine. Hmm. So that, yeah, Settle Trod changes the culture of places. But oh, I think all your okay. people are already in it. Right, okay, yeah. And so that's what he's currently, no, he's currently doing that. Mm -hmm. No, he's no, currently he's doing, he's doing that. the okay. administer realm. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's always a good thing too. I don't I don't know. I'm not I'm not aggressive enough for this game. Just leave it there, it's fine. If you want another action you could do, we didn't click on the final button on the top here. Oh we didn't. These are secret societies. If you hit oh, the little whoa. pull down menu right there. This one? Yeah, those are all the societies we know about. Oh, so two of them. So the cold ones, what? Vampires? Well, <laughs> believe certain people are born with witch's blood, and it's their blessing to be able to turn oh, wow. to Chernobog, the black god, to gain power and wealth. Wow. They are frowned upon by traditional believers who would rather call them cursed, as they are rumored to sacrifice humans and commit heinous acts in order to achieve their goals. Well, damn. Yeah, so, I mean, so that's the, the anti-religious one. If you're playing in a Christian place, that's like the, the right. servants of Lucifer or of whatever. Of course, yeah. Or so, bear god. Do not even utter the name of the sacred animal, but draw strength from worshipping the bear, calling it the king of the forest. Oh, I like this. After hunting one, a complex ritual must take place wherein the bear is convinced that it was not slain, but died due to the fault of its own, so that its hunter may don themselves in its fur. What the hell? Well, that seems a little twisted. <laughs> so you don't have to join a secret society. Well, they're semi-secret society. They're societies, period. Right, yeah, what, yeah. The cold secret. one's a secret. <laughs> right, okay. Followers of Otso are... are just open society, you know, anyone can sign up. Can you join both of them? No, you can only be oh, in one society at a time. That's unfortunate. As far as I know. I'm, con I'm conflicted. They both sound interesting for very different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> what, your cruel whatever person might join the society worshipping the evil god? I mean... I'm shocked to hear that. Mm. And that's the thing, right? I would say probably this one, but then I feel like maybe she would go with that one. So I'm very, very conflicted. <laughs> I'm still learning who she is, right? Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. a little, I don't know. <laughs> I'm disappointed she hasn't gotten pregnant yet. I know. It's I didn't now. hit the pause button or anything. Yeah. Come on, chop chop. Um, <laughs> you don't have to join a society. I may have to think about it. They're really fun and be quite powerful, but you don't have to join one. Well, if they're so powerful, you're making me feel like I should, though. No, I mean, they, t they take up a lot of your attention and, and things like that. You might want to just focus on the basics. Can I make him like me more? Oh, I can. You can totally try to sway him. The other thing you can do on any of these portraits is right-click on them for a pop-up a, a pop menu. Oh, God. With many actions. Okay, Paradox, you guys have a lot of information in these games. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. <laughs> there's no denying that. Wow, okay. Honorary titles. Fire him, give him gifts. Arrange a divorce. Oh, my goodness. Buy his favor. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's send him a gift. So you give him 15 gold. Oh, I don't have enough gold for that. Yeah, Never mind. It's, pretty, it's pretty rich. The Sorry, sway, The sway's probably a good idea, though. Is that on here? Uh, no. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, just you... click anywhere else. Okay. Yeah. So maybe if he likes me more, they'll mm -hmm. have a damn mm -hmm. baby. Yeah. Come on, it, chop chop with the baby. It actually can't help. <laughs> maybe you can manage to actually fall in love with your husband. I mean, that would also... Be, you It'd be know, convenient. Preferable, yeah. probably. Sure. Easier. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put the speed up to two. All right. There. I, I figured you were gonna go a little. It's still not speedy. I mean, look at the dates, right? Yeah. I know. But it's yeah. May. Well, I was still figuring out what things were and reading sentences. I didn't want something to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> while I was deep in some, you know, menu somewhere. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to know. Uh huh. Let's take a look at your neighbor. How tough are they? Just in case something were to happen. Cool. Koshma? Yeah. Okay. If you oh. 
So there's a couple of different things. You can click to select the province and you can find out about the province. I forgot that I was zoomed out. This is who rules the province. You can also right click on this and it'll just open up the uh -huh. page for the leader. Okay. The ruler there. Okay. So oh, this, he's is cute. The, this is the chief. Yeah, I love his hat. I like his beard yeah. for some reason. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> if this person was bending the knee to anyone, it would show up just above him. Uh huh. Right, his leash. Right. Yes. Okay. okay. I enter my study only to find a stunning owl perched on what? my windowsill. It's your invitation to Hogwarts. <laughs> Obviously. It observes me with its piercingly yellow eyes for a few moments and then taps the window with its beak. Did the ancestors send it my way? Ooh. I love this. Oh, that's cool. Who's a pretty bird? Obviously. Who's a pretty bird? Oh, you, mean... you get a pet owl. Oh. Plus one learning. What would happen and... if you did that? Oh, nothing. Okay. Then why would anyone choose that? I, because they suck. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're wrong. Yeah. We have a bird. Oh my god. Well, tell you what, I'm gonna, let's pause for a sec. Let's put a cut in the video. Just make sure nothing weird happens. That seems like a good call. And continue in a second. Cool. Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.